Hi, this is James from tracymat.co.uk. I'm here with the Blackberry Playbook that uh, Research in Motion were kind enough to send to us this week. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration or video of Blackberry Bridge, which essentially is where the, uh, the, the Playbook will mimic certain applications on the Blackberry. Um, we'll start with Blackberry Messenger, as that's one of the most uh, common features used on the Blackberry. Much like on the smartphone, you've got your contacts down the left-hand side. It's a case of uh, choosing the one that you want to message and, uh, and, and type it away. I'll just send Matt one now. I don't know if he's uh, he's in a position to reply, but if he does, that's great. Um, again, like on the smartphone, we can also add uh, emoticons like so, and we've got the option. There's a little arrow there with where we can uh, if we press that. We can add files. Uh, that middle one would allow us to to add multiple people to the conversation, which we won't do at the moment. Um, and there's also a, a ping, so we can uh, ping him like so. Um, there's a search button down here on the left hand side and this little red cross is what you would use if you if you want to end the chat. So if we, we press that, um, press that, and it's given us the option. Oh, there we go. Matt's now replying. He's pinging us back. So I don't know if you can see up on the top left hand side, um, there's a little red uh, notification which flashes a couple of times when you when you first get it let's see if we can get to, let's see if we can get Matt to uh, send another one and keep your eye on the, the, the top left hand side hopefully he'll uh, he'll reply back again um, but if not we'll uh, we'll demonstrate it there we go can you see the uh, the red movement there and obviously um, the conversation is, is mimicked both on the on the, on the BlackBerry playbook and on the BlackBerry smartphone, as you see there. So, if you're using one device and you need to put it down and switch to the other, the exact same information is on both. And obviously, uh, uh, with BlackBerry Messenger, you've got the red and delivery reports, and obviously they're mimicked also. So, right, that is essentially BlackBerry Messenger on the playbook. Pretty good stuff. Calendars next. And like on the, the smartphone, we've got the option to view by month, and we've got arrows at the top here to jump between the months. We've got the week, and we can also view it by day. So creating an appointment, it's a case of uh, selecting the time, putting in your text, like so, and you can also uh, specify the times, attendees and and any notes that you want and then it's just a case of pressing save which is located at the bottom of the page and also at the top and so if we just have a look at uh, the calendar here on the on, on the smartphone as you can see there's nothing on there but if we press save that post instantly uh, or that appointment instantly appears on the uh, the playbook as well as the uh, uh, as well as the smartphone We've got a button down here on the left hand side that shows us uh, this this uh, the, the, the month like so if you want another just a, another way to sort of uh, jump to a specific day or, or get to today's particular calendar. Pretty good stuff. And the last thing we're gonna, we're gonna have a look at uh, here is, uh, is, is messaging. Um, now what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna send myself an email from the uh, from the, the BlackBerry smartphone, so we can see what happens when you get an email on the um, on the playbook. There we go. That sense. And again, we should uh, see the red notification icon up on the top left-hand side when the, the email actually comes through. There we go. It's not particularly easy to see, but we also get the uh, the envelope that appears there that shows us we've got an email. We tap that and it shows us who the email is from and the subject of the email and we, you can either tap that to jump into that particular message or you can uh, just open the, the, the messaging application select the, uh, the email that you want and down at the bottom we have uh, some icons here so there's uh, a forward reply to all or a reply so let's reply reply to myself which is a bit weird and again, we've got the, uh, the the send or save at the top as well as the bottom, so we'll send that. Like so, um, we've got a search icon here. If you're looking for a, 
a particular word within the email. And we've also got a flag there that we can have if we want to. And like I said before, um, this email I've just uh, sent to myself is obviously unread at the moment. But if we, uh, if we for example, re read it on the playbook, it automatically appears read on the smartphone. So the two, although connected over Bluetooth, are, are constantly syncing. Um, and Blackberry Bridge seems to be working a treat. There are a, um, a few other options here, as you can see, within the bridge application. Uh, there's tasks, there's the memo pad. Uh, I tend not to use those, and there's the bridge browser as well, but we're, we're, we're going to cover the, uh, the browser in a separate video. Um, this is just an initial video, and uh, we'll certainly bring you some more over, over the next few days, and uh, we're also going to bring you an unboxing. We haven't done one with this particular device because uh, it's... Uh, it wasn't in the retail packaging, it was just in a brown box. Um, but uh, Research in Motion have told us that we will have a, a retail version um, very, very soon. So uh, we will have a proper unboxing video for you at some time. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives. So working with unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.